Thank you, James. 546 right now. Asian stocks were mixed today, and despite Beijing's decision to cut a key interest rate to help stabilize financial markets, Shanghai's index actually fell. The benchmark Shanghai Composite Index closed down by 1.3 percent, while the Toronto stock market rebounded to close 98 points higher. Wall Street recorded its sixth straight day of losses. Meantime, the loonie lost nearly half a cent yesterday and closed below the 75 cent U.S. mark for the first time since 2004. To the relief of Prime Minister Stephen Harper's campaign, conservative candidates will not have to deal with any fresh revelations from testimony at Senator Mike Duffy's fraud trial until the October 19th election. Testimony about Duffy's Senate expenses and who in the Prime Minister's office knew about the secret repayment check written by his ex-chief of staff was already scheduled to break at the end of this week. But the judge yesterday called an early halt to proceedings due to the health of a witness and a personal issue involving Duffy's lawyer. The trial is now adjourned until November the 18th. Police are looking for two suspects after the alleged abduction attempt of a 16-year-old girl in North Vancouver. Mounties say a man approached the girl near Capilano Mall, told her she was beautiful before pulling her towards a waiting vehicle. She managed to get away. One of the suspects is described as a black man about 40 years of age. He's more than six feet tall with a bulky build and wearing dark clothing. The vehicle involved is thought to be a 1990s black sedan similar to a Honda Accord or a Toyota Corolla. This week marks the 25th anniversary of the murder of a 19-year-old girl in Vancouver, and police are still holding out hope that an arrest can be made in the death of Karen Lee Taylor. The teenager was last seen with friends at the Cecil Hotel on Granville Street on August 24, 1990. She and a girlfriend left with a man they'd never met before to grab a bite at a nearby sandwich shop. The next morning, her naked body was found in an alleyway near Pine Street and Burrard. Vancouver police have put out a composite sketch of a suspect. At the time of this murder, this suspect was described as Caucasian in his late 30s to early 40s, six feet tall and weighing more than 200 pounds. The next phase of Burnaby's Brentwood Town Centre redevelopment went to a public hearing last night. The third phase of the massive project is a 51-story apartment tower above four stories of businesses at the corner of Alpha Avenue and the Low Heat Highway. The design is meant to complement the first two towers approved for the redevelopment. The project has been controversial in Brentwood with many opposed to increased traffic and density. The master plan will come in four phases and includes proposals for 10 residential towers.